The Mazda 2 Sport has just made its first splash. The car's athletic name is a tribute to its new body. Unlike the hatchback version that hit dealer showrooms last year, the Sport variant has a two-door design. That gives the exterior both improved aerodynamics and a faster look. And dropping the rear doors saves on the purchase price as well. At just under 11,500 euros in Germany, the new Mazda 2 Sport costs 500 euros less than the Mazda 2. Most manufacturers have an SUV in their lineup, and Renault is now following suit. The French car maker is rolling out the Caleos this September. Compact and economical in the city, but also able to tackle the frontier. Under standard conditions, the Caleos has a front-wheel drive, but when it loses traction, the intelligent all-wheel drive automatically delivers 50% of the engine's torque to the rear axle. Nowhere is there so much competition on the European automobile market as in the compact segment, or what the Germans call the Golf Class. Around 50 different models are fighting to win the hearts of millions of potential buyers. Ford has given its popular focus a facelift. So far, the automaker has sold over 5 million units, and Ford hopes the redesign will allow the focus to remain successful. The new Focus is a vehicle that's much more dynamic, he says, making it more attractive to prospective buyers. The ability of our products to steer emotions is very important. And the designers were able to give the Focus a more thorough facelift than other manufacturers would dare. The front grille now has a large air inlet under the bumper, and the hood and the headlights have been reshaped. The designers have given the entire compact a makeover. Glancing at it from the side, this crease line is very striking, he says. It looks like a muscle cord and makes the car very powerful. The new Focus appears more mature and looks more like a mid-sized car. It also appears more powerful. The sculptured shape of the rear is very striking and one of the car's key characteristics, he says. Thanks to the integrated rear spoiler, it's much more three-dimensional. And the cut in the rear window is, of course, typical Ford design, as are the LED taillights, which are relatively unique for this vehicle and this segment. The trunk offers plenty of cargo room, with almost 400 liters of space as a sedan. After the rear seats are folded down, over 1,250 liters are available. Ford was more restrained when it came to technical changes. The excellent suspension and precise steering remain unchanged. The handling is precise and the ride is firm but not uncomfortable. Owners will enjoy plenty of driving pleasure. Ford made some significant improvements to the interior. The seats are very comfortable and offer solid lateral support. The dashboard boasts a new design. The instruments have been reworked and now have a red glimmer at night. There are plenty of storage areas, and not just in the center console. In the front, they're in the door, and in the rear, directly in the seat. The new Ford Focus is certain to continue selling well in the compact segment. The base price remains around 15,000 euros. Buyers can select from six gasoline and three diesel engines, which generate between 80 and 225 horsepower. Mercedes has given its B-Class a facelift. The minivan, which the car maker calls Sports Tour, has been on the market for three years. So far, the Mercedes has sold an impressive 350,000 units. The latest generation is getting a new range of engines, which now burn up to 7% less fuel than their predecessors. And for the first time, a natural gas-powered B-Class van is also available. The vehicle's design has also been overhauled. The restyled front end looks wider and more powerful, while the side and rear display more elegant and dynamic flowing lines. 
After introducing the Gran Turismo, Maserati has now unveiled the Gran Turismo S. The 4.7-liter V8 Ferrari engine allows the car to rocket from 0 to 100 in just 4.9 seconds and reach a top speed of almost 300 kilometers per hour. Thanks to the new electro-actuated six-speed automatic, it takes just a tenth of a second to change gears. In Germany, the Gran Turismo S costs just under 130,000 euros. Just in time for summer, Audi has added the four-passenger A3 Cabriolet to its fleet. The convertible was conceived to be a direct competitor to the BMW 1 Series convertible in the compact segment. Unsurprisingly, Audi has chosen to go with a soft top, which is light and preserves space when it's open. Audi's Florian Schwab says the practicality of a convertible top is important. With the Z-fold roof, the A3 has the lowest top and it opens in just nine seconds, making it the fastest roof available in terms of opening and closing. Even when the top is down, it remains visible. The front of it retracts to fit perfectly into the storage compartment. It opens in just 9 seconds and closes in 11, even when the car is moving at up to 30 kilometers per hour. So owners don't have to worry about getting caught in a sudden shower. The front end sports a chrome single frame grille, which is typical for Audi. And the front leaning roll bars provide plenty of protection to passengers. Schwab says the A3 Cabriolet was designed to be a harmonious addition to the A3 three-door hatchback design series and communicate the functionality and driving pleasure of the series as well. Buyers can choose from among two diesel and two gasoline-powered engines that generate between 105 and 200 horsepower. The version with a 2-liter turbo diesel sprints from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 9.7 seconds. The 6-speed manual transmission adds to the driving fun. It's easy to shift and very precise. A lever in the trunk allows the rear seat back to flip down separately, expanding the cargo capacity to 674 liters. And thanks to a large trunk opening, long pieces of luggage can be loaded with ease. Daytime driving lights are standard on the new convertible. The shaped headlights are separated by chrome. In the rear, the tail lights include an unusual fiber optic feature. In Germany, the new Audi A3 Cabriolet will start at just under 28,000 euros. Audi plans to introduce another convertible at the end of this year, the larger A5, which will come with a soft top. <laughs>